to see this guy make the walk here tonight. Really as accomplished a striker as we've seen come into the UFC in years. And no surprise, he'll be interested in keeping the fight standing tonight. We'll see if he can put on a striking clinic. If the takedown defense holds up, figures to have a pronounced advantage on the feet. This guy is an outstanding striker. What he wants to do is use his defense to keep the fight standing, use the takedown defense and a good solid sprawl, and if he does go to the ground, make sure he gets back up and punishes his opponent. Man, is it good to see a striker of this caliber make the walk to the UFC octagon tonight. Really decorated on the feet, and no surprise, he's definitely interested, Joe, in keeping this fight standing. We'll see if he can put on a striking clinic tonight. Takedown defense will be a weapon of use if he can keep the fight upright. Scary for the opposition tonight. This guy has excellent footwork. He's very difficult to catch and corner inside the octagon, and he's always in a position where he can strike and then get away from his opponent's counters. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with the same height and reach. We set it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Big Danny. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of Kiev, Ukraine, shut down. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? You ready? Well, this is a venue as long on MMA history as any in the world, the Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan. Good to have you with us for a night of live UFC action. Nice inside leg kick. Oh, it lands that punch. Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. These guys are going at it here right away, trading blows. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. That one hurt. Oh, how good is that jab? Snaps it off yet again here. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, he found the target there, Joe. Nice punch. That punch will work right through the guard. Just misses with the jab. Good shot. Oh, how about the multiple strikes landing here? That is a serious offensive barrage. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Trying to double up on that jab. Well, he is eternally aggressive, but he paid for it there. His head was wide open, and his opponent is able to land the uppercut there. He's going to have to figure some things out here, Joe. Manage his wrist better. I know he's confident in his chin, but right now he's becoming a sitting duck. Oh! He is clearly in big, big trouble. Back up. Just over two minutes. Whoa! Trapped in half guard here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Into half guard again. Full mount. He hip escapes from the full mount. Right back to his feet. Went 
for the inside leg kick. Nice inside leg kick. Very nice. Big yeah, shot to the head. This could be it. Oh, he might be out. Oh, he got caught. And now start to snap off that jab. He's keeping his head protected here. Excellent blocking. Spinning back fist. Nice defense there. Huge block. 15. Big oh. left hand. knockout victory right as the round was ending. Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight. Just before the end of that round, a huge shot that drops his opponent and ultimately spells the end of the fight. Referee jumps in there furiously to stop the fight. That is a crazy, crazy knockout just at the end of the round. And let's go to a different angle. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the